In facilities, we did a consumable review, which was part of a quality improvement project um, led by one of our team that went on the Aspire course. This has led to a number of our providers being streamlined and a cost saving for the trust. Similarly, within catering, we looked at all of our suppliers for our provisions uh, and have streamlined those, and that's resulted in some really good savings for the trust. The best doctor service which we have been using since March 2023 is an alternative method to diagnose how a patient has passed away. This is a less invasive procedure and it has an 80% success rate. To date we have completed 313 vertopsies which has attracted positive feedback from both bereaved relatives as well as HM coroner. Since August 2023, the CDC project team have been working hard to implement the community diagnostic centres alongside a lot of stakeholders. The community diagnostic centre, also known as the CDC, is there to support patients from Stockport and Tameside locality who may live in areas of deprivation. The CDC will be going live and will be able to offer MR, CT, DEXA and ECHO. We're here from the Integrated Governance team and we've been working hard on the implementation of the new Patient Safety Incident Response Framework, PSIRF, um, that really enables us to focus on our learning and improvement from our incidents and excellence reporting. The payroll department implemented a live chat service in 2023. This has resulted in quicker responses to resolve queries. We can deal with multiple queries at the same time. Using live chat has helped improve the engagement between payroll and the rest of the trust. The nursing and medical colleagues within cardiology have been working hard to maintain the two week target for a rapid access chest pain clinic. We're furthermore looking to introduce a CT coronary angiogram service, which would ensure more rapid diagnostics. Within delirium as a cross divisional piece of work we identified through ED that we needed a greater level of assessment. Through there we put 70 hours of direct assessment for our triple uh, assessment score and our clinical frailty score. From there we saw 126% increase of delirium assessments and frailty scoring assessments that led to a better patient experience, a great quality of care and ultimately a better delirium service. Following a difficult period with the coroner, the legal services team identified a need for inquest improvement. With help from the transformation team, we were able to arrange a mapping session. Uh, that process has now been implemented and we have seen a improvement in the allocation, preparation and disclosure of witness statements. In pharmacy, we have implemented a discharge team. This involves dispensing discharge prescriptions and getting them to the patients in a timely manner. Across our Notes 19 services, we've aligned neighbourhoods and we're raising our profiles to work with family hubs. We're now integrating with our partner agencies so that we have a service that's universal in reach and personalised in response.